It was a very hard journey with carrying what he had to carry and having been already beaten and bloodied and weakened. And this isn't just a little straight, it wasn't just a little straight path. It was up, down, around, curving. The street was probably, I don't know, 15 feet wide or so. Not that wide, but it, it, it's lined on either side by vendors, right? And so, unlike other places that we went to visit, you, you didn't get an opportunity to really get into that spiritual zone. Uh, the Via de la Rosa was Bedlam. As the market, it's a fairly, you've seen pictures, fairly narrow street, and it's, it's uh, inclined up, but then there's steps, and we've seen this in other cities, fairly narrow with all of the shops and everything, and I could just imagine that day, crowded streets for that procession. And they were the stations of the cross that they say in the big, bronze things and we would stop and discuss it until I got to the eighth station and that was where they called Simon of Serene to help pick up the cross and I just thought God would I would I want to be there crowded it's crowded it's um, buildings close together Kind of a narrow stone street. Um, Noisy it, and just commerce and just... Yeah, and that's, that's another picture I guess we have that he's walking down a, a, a road in the country or whatever and everybody's looking at him and stuff. And you got the sense when you were in the city if somebody were walking along with a cross that, that he wouldn't be the focus of attention of everybody around him. It would be, um, well, there's another one. imagine that um, our guide Mishi explained to us that um, when he went down that path he would have passed through the everyday life like we experienced it people shopping people going about their business and that they might not have even taken notice of him the entry there was sort of unexpected because in all of our pictures it looks just like a lonely road to the cross but it isn't. I mean, it's the uphilly, the downhilly, the rockiness, the curve of the pathway, and all of those things. And the hustle and the bustle of the crowds, uh, the people, the shopkeepers, the noise, the sounds, you know, all of that. Uh, it took me aback at first, but then you start to think that, and as he pointed out, this is probably the way it would have been when Jesus walked here. It would have been the same hustle and the bustle and the noise of people going about their everyday lives. And uh, the event of Christ with the cross was not meaningful to them as it was to the followers. <laughs>